Justin, when when your luck's out, your your luck is truly out, isn't it? There's five defeats now on the bounce, but much better performance today from your side. I'm heartbroken, I'm heartbroken, you know. It's all on me, it falls on me. I pick the players, I pick the team, so I take responsibility. That means for me to get out of it, for us to get out of it together. But I don't know, lost for words, mate. What do you feel needs to change for you to turn this run around? You just need a, a point, anything, anything, just a point, clean sheet, anything, anything just to grab, grab hold of and build on. You know, it's like you said, I like, I like Dan, but I'm a big believer you earn your own luck. You know, last season we earned our own luck. You know what I mean? We, we fight it to the end, we fight it to the end. Yeah, everyone's saying it's a foul on the goalkeeper, but I think if it was the other way around, I would have gone mental personally. Everyone's saying it was a foul, but. I just think the defence was a bit soft there and I think Jack should have come out and punched it and hurt one of his own teammates. That's what I told him, but I'm not going to blame Jack because Jack's saved us many, many a time and earned us many points on his own. So in your opinion that it wasn't a foul then on Jack? Your opinion? My opinion, yeah, but I'm the only one who agrees, who says that. The whole bench, the whole team said he was definitely fouled, he was pinned and he couldn't get out. But like I said, if it was that way around, I probably would have gone a bit mad, but maybe, I don't know, but it, 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 do you think it was a foul? No, there you go. I mean, after shipping four against Soham at the weekend, he looked a lot more solid mm. um, this evening, especially in the first half. It's just that rotten luck of Spencer Harrison hitting the, um, hitting the ball straight off the plate, it runs through. It's just, it's not going your way, is it? Exactly. When, when things are down against you, it's going against you. So, but again, you earn your own luck. You earn your own luck. If that, 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 when we're winning games, they go for us, you know? Uh, but yeah, we just like I said, um, I believe once we once we stop it and we get a point or a win, then we'll go on a run. But I've never experienced a, a period of this five defeats in a row ever in my life in terms of me being involved as a manager or a player, and it's it's something that I'm not used to and something that I'm learning. It's it's, it's tough. It's tough. It's lonely. And like I said, I just I feel sorry for the, the club, the supporters. You know what I mean? The, the chairman and Greg who give so much time to the club. You know, I mean, I know they always say there's a way of losing. It's not like we're losing massively or losing with no heart and no fight. But the same thing is anyone that weren't here today or who wasn't at the last five games, every of those five games, that's just the fact, you know. That's not whether we was close or he's a ref or he's this or it's that. Results, business, stats don't lie. And it's what it is, isn't it? Like, in, we've, got, we've, got, we've, got, we've got to improve. We've got to improve. Like I said, I'll take a, a clean sheet. If you gave me a clean sheet now, Saturday, I'll take it now. Good point. Because I just want, I just want us to stop that, stop that. What? It's another game where you've conceded two goals in very quick succession. Do you feel that when Farrakh got their equaliser, that the players' heads dropped like they well, did, or you said they did on Sun on Saturday? Yeah, uh, that's what I said to him again. I said they, they've, they've scored, and you've, 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 your heads are dropped, and you've retracted, and you've retracted deeper and deeper. You have to remember, if, if we if we draw two games away from home, last two games for me, it's, it's tremendous. You draw your games away from home, and you win your home games. That's always my uh, aim. But it's like they, it's either a win or nothing for, for them, and you can't be like that. You've got to dig deep, especially if it's not going your way. You just got to keep digging deep to get points, you know. So, like I said, it's, 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 I can always go and get players to replace it, but is that the answer? You know what I mean? Because whoever I bring in seems to make an individual error. But obviously there are one or two boys today that I feel let, let, let themselves down and there will be changes in terms of a couple of positions. But like you said, I think before they scored, we were in control of the game, but we've lost again. What do you feel you need to work on and uh, training on Thursday? Well, you can't work. You, you, there's no, you, no coach in the world can work on individual areas. You tell me, you know what I mean? You, you ask the best managers in the world, you know what I mean? They, you, cannot, you cannot stop individual areas. There's two things you do. You either leave them out or you talk to them to make sure they don't do it again. If they don't learn from the mistake, then maybe they're not good enough. You got Bark inside on Saturday at home. They had a very good win yesterday against Haybridge. Yeah, it's going to be there. a very tough test tomorrow, I was there. isn't it? I was there, and I tell you what, from when they showing today, Bark was able to cause us more problems because they had heart. They had heart, and uh, again, if we play football and, and 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 compete as well as they do, we will win. But at the same time, at the moment, we just need to win ugly. We need to do anything. We need to do anything to get a point on the ball just to stop the rock. And that would be my target, is just to get anything. You know what I mean? Obviously, we're at home, so I was expecting a win. But at the same time, if we get a draw, it's not the end of the world because we need to get something to build on.
obviously you're very down at the moment, but you're still feeling confident you can turn this around. Yeah, if I, the day I stop feeling confident is the day I call it a day. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm confident. I mean, before today we've lost four of the games, but I believed that we'd win the game. And I thought, I don't know if it was 60, 70 minute, we was winning one nil. Like I said, I thought, they, I don't think Jack had a save before then to me. And then, like I said, two goals in quick concession. It's cool because apart from those two goals, I think we we, we done well, but we lost. So it's, it's it's hard for me to be positive at the moment. Like I said, I was positive Saturday because I thought going forward we done everything right. Today I think it was a bit defensively better, but then we've lost. So for me, you just got got ugly. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of it when you're losing games. If the ball's in your corner, you smash it up the other end. Like, I wouldn't do that every game or every week, but in this kind of what we're in, that's what you got to do. And, we're trying to play our way out of the trends and you can't do that especially when you're lacking confidence because you've won games.